My sister Claire started a blog when she was first diagnosed with breast cancer back in 2013. Um, it was a friend suggested that it would be, you know, reasonably therapeutic to to uh, to write her thoughts, um, and it became uh, uh, a fantastically well followed piece of writing. And I think probably for the first time ever, I I realised that my sister was a very funny, and b rather a good writer. Um, and she would, as much as she could, try and post every day either with. Um, what was physically happening in her um, procedures or just going off on little flights of fancy. Um, and, and it was a, a, an incredibly potent piece of work which she let go gently when she was um, finished her first cancer treatment. Um, and then unfortunately when the cancer came back she, she took up writing again. Um, and within the last three or four months of her life, she became too ill to write, so I took over the blog, mainly as a means of protection, because we were having to field so many texts and phone calls and emails and people calling, wanting to know what was going on, so to protect us both and uh, to mean that I didn't have to spend most of my spare time answering all these different um, inquiries, I would just very simply write, this is what's happened today, this is where she is, this is what's going on, don't panic anyone. And then of course because I was spending all this time on my own uh, and as the days went on uh, my sister spent a lot more of the day asleep but I still had to be there just in case so I started to have the flights of fancy. Um, tried every evening after I gave her her last meds to just write a real time um, uh, unfolding of what had happened in the day and where my thoughts had taken me, um, which I carried on uh, after she died for a short while just to let everyone know about the funeral and the uh, memorial that we had um, actually on her birthday, which was a couple of months after she died. Um, and then I thought, right, I need to put that to bed. Uh, and then I was approached as to whether I would mind having it published as a book. Um, so it's coming out on February the 22nd, 2018. It's called Not That Kind of Love. Uh, and I think it's already available on Amazon to pre-order. Uh, and all the profits are going to go to uh, Macmillan and the uh, Marie Curie Hospital.